Hello friends, welcome to Green Peach YouTube channel. This channel will discuss about high yielding and most repeatedly asked questions for those who are preparing for medical PG entrance. If you didn't subscribe our channel so far, please do it and click the bell icon next to it to receive notifications. Feel free to click the like button and share your comments. Hello friends, today we will discuss about Long QT syndrome. Long QT syndrome is a familial disorder with a prolonged QT interval. Pathology Pathology behind the long QT syndrome is the reduced repolarization reserve of the human heart which leads to torsadus depointus. Torsadus depointus is the hallmark feature of long QT syndrome. Most common presenting feature of long QT syndrome is the syncope. Death is due to ventricular fibrillation. In such patients, contact sports is better avoided. We have two important syndromes associated with the long QT syndrome. If the long QT syndrome is presented with sensory neural deafness, then it's called as Jarwell and Large Nielsen syndrome. Whereas, if the hearing is normal with long QT syndrome, it is called a Romano Watt syndrome. Jarwell Large nail syndrome is autosomal recessive condition, whereas Romano Watt syndrome is autosomal dominant condition. Let's have a look into some of the important points of torsadus depointus. Torsadus depointus is also called as polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. What are the characteristic features of torsadus depointus? It includes a polymorphic QRS complex, which changes in the amplitude and we have a long QT interval. Also, this ECG form has an oscillating appearance. Thank you very much. Let's solve this question. Features of torsadus depointus is option A, short QRS complex, option B, wide QRS complex, Option C, short QTC interval. Option D, long QTC interval. Yeah, that's it guys.